And until them niggas battle and stop running, I'm going to keep talking my shit and ain't nobody going to whoop no ass. You keep lying through your teeth saying I told you Lying. you was trash. I never told you, you, I never told nobody Hitman trash, bro. I call you one of the goats of this shit, bro. Hey, Calico, look, see, listen, this rap, we not, I'm not even talking about the rap shit. I'm talking about the, the other shit that you do. Hitman right, Hollis, right. oh, Hitman Hollis a word, oh. No, 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 I said the I brotherhood. I said the brotherhood. I've been saying fuck the brotherhood. And that's where we differ at, bro. I don't do that, bro. So you want me to be cool with niggas that do stuff that I don't do? Just like that day, you didn't speak to me. You didn't say nothing to me. You didn't look my way. I walked up on you and grabbed you and said, what's up, my nigga? That's the problem me and you got. You don't care. I do, which is cool. So I fall back, bro. I let you do you. I'm not that nigga, bro. Yeah. Niggas call my phone like holla. They saying Cassidy let Calico earn his rounds for you. I'm like, so? Like, that's going to save him. Well, at the face off, I was gonna let him hurt round from my calico. I was returning the face. I beat Hitman. I can't catch he know I beat him. He can act like I'm hating on him, or he can act like you know Hitman don't. Hitman don't. Look, he don't like me. I really get you killed, Will. Had your mama at the funeral. Like this don't even feel real. Oh yeah. my God. The way he put shit together, the way he connect is very unique. I feel like he's the only one that raps the way he raps. He only gave us half a round, and we want that other half, nigga. Mm. Thank you, ARP, for not making that battle happen. That was the greatest thing that ever happened in my life, bro. No wonder you stand up here looking like a broke-ass Kevin Garnett. That's that bullshit perception. The difference between a nigga who could've went to the NBA, but would rather pretend to be a Minnesota Wolves and respect him. I sat there for three years in a room crafting some of those, my nigga. Brick by brick, it's a lifestyle, it's not a phrase. Last year he made a statement claiming he wanted all the kings of RBA. When he said it, I don't think he foresaw me being in the picture. A lot done changed in a year. I do know if you stay ready, you don't have to get ready. But a wise man always told me, careful what you ask for. His real name Jonathan. Well, that ain't give me much to go off. I know he went to jail, John, and he came home and showed off. <laughs> y'all looking like, but y'all looking like, where the fuck is he going? My first thought is he got the name in jail. Well, what the fuck was he showing? You do look like Jesus. I ain't gonna lie, that was hard in a way. But my God wouldn't wear that bummy do rag. He had a part in the waves. Let's go! Like before that three year old boy knew what his pops looked like. That little nigga knew what the ops looked like. Like before Legos, little nigga knew what a block looked like. Never saw. Fuck, nigga! Fuck you talking about? Who this nigga talking to? He a lame now! Going against me, they be chasing fame now. He said he wore clay because I was clay more. That's why the nigga ain't in the game now. Watch this shit I'm putting together, man. Listen, I'm shocking myself. You less than popping second option. I ain't asked for you, Holmes. My other op can't travel. He ain't asked to be home. He got a C3PO. That was the attack of the clones. What? What? He's gonna fucking die! Fuck it, it don't even make sense, boy! Let's go! Let's go! Do you believe? Purchase your ticket to be in the building or catch it live on pay-per-view stream. Man, let's talk about some predictions, man. Max okay. out to uh, July 10th. Um, we got uh, Calico versus Hitman, a grudge match, man. Like, happening after all the history to mount it up. We're going to turn, yeah. turn that one round up when they was friends mm -hmm. into a three-rounder now that they hate each other. Yeah. You know what, I'm saying? what you think? 
It's closure, right? Is it smack out? Closure shit, man. I don't, I don't know. They, they're expecting a do you believe. Like, it's supposed to be a closure <laughs> shit for that one. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm excited for it. I really am excited for it. Um, I'm, I, I, I'm eager to see. I don't know when the last time I saw Calico like rock a big stage. I don't know what his last like like thousand people in a building battle was. I don't remember um, either. But it's been a while, I think. So I'm eager to kind of see Calico back in that environment with Hitman coming off just doing it a couple months ago. I edge him kind of going into the battle with kind of knowing the venue, knowing what he's got coming, you know, like knowing what worked last time and what might not work this time. So I think, you know, and then also. I think Hitman's uh, approach in like the the promo and then the face-offs and stuff will be important as well. I think that he might have learned a little bit from last time to, I mean, he he literally he set the table to say like I'm supposed to retire Cassidy, you know, and it kind of worked against him with him not like getting him all the way up out of there. People watched his battle through a certain lens, you know. So I just think that Yahala can make a couple adjustments, and and I think that he'll be he'll be good. So I'm I'm giving Yahala the battle two one. Um, I think Calico gets around, but uh, I, I just I think that I'm going to edge Holla just based off of like him being there, the venue, the people, um, the the 1500 people and Calico to me. I mean, in his two on two with Mook against uh, T-Top and Twerk, he was he was serviceable. Um, but I love Calico in the, the, the environment that you got him for ill will. You know, like that's when I like watching Calico. And I just I think his delivery and how he how he. Uh, punches and different things is uh is better for that that smaller gritty feel than it is like this big you know big building so why we even comparing name to name i've been surpassed his and then some who y'all prefer the nigga that's gonna sell a fight or the nigga that's gonna end the fight when he get in the daylight versus king lopes man uh this is another interesting one that um, I think it's probably the one battle on the card that the crowd is going to play the biggest um, factor in you know, mm-hmm. with it being um, what I expect to be uh, a similar crowd, crowd to what we had last time. Um, these guys are such lyricists. Everything's so layered. They're just, you know, a lot of their material is not immediately digestible. Uh, their pacing and how they deliver things things is very important you know, you know they, I, they i don't believe that you know especially with daylight he doesn't like to be stopped you know to have to you know wait you know he he kind of has a, a certain way that he likes to rap you know um they're obviously two of the best writers in the world um i i i don't think King Lowe's can beat daylight i don't uh i don't think that if you get the daylight that battled tay rock if you get serious you know three solid round daylight i don't think that king Lowe's can can win a round but I think that King Los can uh, can make rounds debatable, and I think that he can be very good, like he was. I think he, in like one or one and a half of his rounds against Head Ice, like I thought, like, yo, he's yo, he's he's got a lot of potential. You know what I mean? Um, so I'm taking Daylight in the battle, um, just based off, you know, battle rapper versus you know, kind of an industry guy or whatever, and just knowing the intangibles and knowing how to, you know, navigate through the the crowd and your material, but. Uh, this is going to be one of those ones people are going to watch 15 times, you know, like it's, it's, it's definitely going to be like the number one replay value battle probably, you know, on the card. So I said this type beat, they say like eating, but I don't snack for this. Cat scrap for this whack. My new attack for the show this time is to show my spine. Nigga, I'm back for this. When I rehearse, <laughs> when I rehearse, reverse the cam. Get hit with the Mac for this. You impressed? I can't dress for work, but I'll be damned if I slack for this. Uh-huh. Ill will jack. Man, uh, Jag, Jag has continued to impress me, man. He's continued to impress me. He gets better and better every battle. He takes every battle serious. Um, he impressed me thoroughly against O-Red with his back against the wall because his first round didn't hit like like it should have. And Jack is boisterous. Jag is boisterous. He's, you know, he's, he's, he's cocky. He's, you know, uh, you know, so like when somebody like that takes a gut punch, you know what I mean? Sometimes it affects them, you know? And, 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 and that's when they can say, oh, forget the crowd. Y'all just don't know bars or da 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 But he didn't do that. He stuck to the course. He delivered his next two rounds, you know, just the same way. And his material got better and he brought the crowd back in. And that was just to me like that was like a make or break moment, you know, for somebody, you know, after that first round. And that's why he's like he just continued to thoroughly impress me with his writing and just, you know, how serious he's taking battle rap. With that being said, Ill Will <laughs> is a whole different <laughs> 
<laughs> it's always the man. big step up to the butt. <laughs> man, listen, you know, remember, I mean, Jack was barking on O-Red in the face-offs, and Jack was kind of creating this whole, you know, like, that's not something in my mind he can do to ill will. Like, he can't, like, to me, he can't, like, he just can't. Ill will is too well-respected. He's, he's big in stature. He's, you know, everybody, he's a believability to him, you know. And then, I mean, I stood up there across from Hill Will, like he's a showman, you know, like that's the other thing. Like people say Hitman Hall is a show. Hill Will's a show too, but like, he really is, you know, and he has the ability to, you know, freestyle and just drop the building on you with punchlines and just all kinds of different ways, you know. So to me, this is a huge, um, this is that, <laughs> this is that meme where, where the kid, the person's walking up the stairs, you know, and it's like on the front stair and the his other leg is like four stairs up or whatever. Like to me, like, like Jag is like, he's, He's coming up to ill will in front of this many people. Like it's a big leap from I think what, what he's done in his first three or four battles. Okay. So I got will. I got will two one possibly uh gentleman's 30, but I think Jag will, I think Jag will still impress people. I'm your God. I'm your God. And your father. And your pastor. No weapon formed against you, Sam Prosper. This wasn't formed, it was manufactured. Damn. Okay, the turn of X Factor. Such an odd battle, man. I just came out of like, it was just, I, I was like, well, really? Like, was this, you know? Um, <laughs> we know him for that every once in a while. Yeah. Yeah, you know, uh, especially since Big K's ducking me, man. I'm like, you take X Factor, man. What's up? You know, like, don't worry, I'll take, don't, don't worry, I'll take care of that. Yeah, yeah, you know, like, uh, <laughs> but um, no, um, I, I saw X Factor Battle Shotgun Suge. I think it was on a band battle at one of the volumes. It was like a couple years ago, or whatever. And it actually was, it was, it was decent. Like, I mean, and I don't, that sounds disrespectful in a sense, you know. But he was, he was good. He was solid, you know. Um, I don't, I don't I think he was. No, I think it was better than his Jerry West performance. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't. Oh, is it that? Yeah, I don't. I don't. I think, I think that's a more recent where you look at X Factor and say, okay. Yeah, yeah. I don't. After being on that stage, you know, a couple months ago or whatever, like, I just don't. I haven't seen a version of X Factor that beats, you know, a prepared Big K. I just haven't, you know. Um, but X Factor is a legend in his own right, you know, and he, you know, He's X Factor for a reason. He got booked for this battle for a reason. People know his name for a reason. So he has the potential to come out. And I've seen that he had the blog or the video talking about he's writing some of his best stuff he's ever written and everything. Um, but yeah, I just, Big K is, he's a different monster, man. He's a different monster. Get murked on. Try to creep up and get turned on. Uppercut. Make you tuck in your jeans like your shirt long. You gonna leave this ring with a list of things you could work on. I am not them. Bitch, I am him like a church song. You're garbage. I already won. You lost 3-0 already. You already lost. X was so confident in that in that interview that we did that um, I, I said, I, it, it doesn't sound like you're just talking because the camera's on. Yeah. It's not like you really mean this. Like, I, mm -hmm. I, I read through that a little bit. So I, I actually put an extra an extra bag up if he can clearly 30 big K. Bro, I have, it's been two and a half years, bro, since I battled. <sighs> Nigga, is, he is a crash test dummy, bro. On mm. my soul. This is, this is, this is just, he's like a sacrifice. He in a way, for real. This is like a sacrificial mm. way. I'm not, I'm not looking past him, but I'm looking past him. So you know what I'm saying? I'm put, because I, because I see if this was a typical X Factor and I'm con consistent doing what I'm doing, Big K would be like a get out of here. I kick his ass and get him on. Now I'm on to the next. But because they, 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 he's a fan favorite and I'm the underdog. Okay. So now I have to turn it up a thousand percent. You did that for Rosenberg Raw too? No, I did not. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did not. Um, <laughs> Rosenberg Raw, I, I would I wouldn't bet for uh somebody to clearly 30 Rosenberg Raw. Now do say shit like when I got a pop up out the blue, like it's a boy at a gender reveal. 
Well, what I got, I hit your baby mom's stomach to the gender reveal. What made Rosenberg Raw be somebody that was like on your list? Well, so it, he became part of my list after my Danny battle and kind of as I was preparing for O-Red. Um, Cause you, you started dropping the Kings of RBE flyers or, you know, mm. uh, who are the Kings of RBE, you know? Okay. And, um, so I, you know, I battled Danny at the time. Danny was, you know, putting on great performances on RBE, with the Pat stay battle and, you know, different things. And then I got O-Red and everybody knows like O-Red is like, was arguably undefeated on RBE, you know, um, then ill will. And so my mindset was like, well, if these are the guys that, you know, you, you consider to be like the, the elite of RBE, like these are the guys I need to battle, you know? So it wasn't, it wasn't per se, like just a Rosenberg raw thing. It was like, I remember he was on one of those flyers and it, he was considered like one of the guys, you know, that, you know, brick by brick, you know, that was in the mud, you know, that, that kind of, you know, you know, was, it was, an a RBE part of, part of us building RBE. Yeah. yeah. And so that's when I was just like, I said it in an interview. And when I said it in an interview, I think it was after the O-Red battle and after he had performed very well against Head Ice. Um, I remember his third round against Head Ice was one of my favorite Rosenberg Raw rounds ever. Um, I said in an interview, um, actually, I, I'm wrong. I said it in an interview when I was supposed to battle O-Red when we were there, when he, you know, when I came down to Atlanta for the event. And um, I said, yo, bring me Raw, bring me Show Off, bring me, you know, uh, you know, all of these different names or whatever, these kings of RBE guys, you know. And so Raw really wanted to battle. Like, I, I knew he wanted to battle. Like, he, he, he looked at me like somebody that, like, they will, a, a lot of people will, res, will put a lot of respect on his name if he comes up there and, like, puts on a crazy performance against me. You know, I think that he he might not have thought the same against somebody like a show off or somebody, you know, some certain matchups, you know, I think with the buzz that I've got going right now and like the comments, you know, I, I don't read too much into them. But a lot of the comments are like Ward 30, a Ward. And I don't I don't buy into that because I know, you know, how talented Raw is. But I think he looked at it as an opportunity for him, you know, to show, you know, that he's not like a he doesn't have to have a cert. He can battle anybody. This is kind of a style clash. I'm not like the normal, you know, you know, street versus street guy, you know, type, you know, like let's argue about who, you know, sold more, you know, whatever, you know, this is not that battle. So I think that that's why he really wanted to battle. I got more, wait. Last week I battled, next week I battle. Feel like I'm on a tour date. Tomorrow, Easter, that's the Lord's day. This finna be a curry, 30. I reverse punches, wait. You're a Claymore, I'm Achilles, I'm more clay, I'm never oh, what? what are some of the clear things that you feel that you do better than Rosenberg Raw that would give you an easier route to victory than let's say opposed to over ill will? I think I'm better than him at everything. Like I everything. think that wow. Yeah, I think the one thing that what I mean, that doesn't mean so. The one thing Rosenberg has that I don't have is kind of like that grit, believability. I'm from an era that, you know, or uh, a place that most of the people watching can maybe relate to a little bit better. So like that relatability or whatever, you know. Um, but outside of that, if we're talking like punchline schemes, humor, freestyles, angles and all that stuff, like I don't think that he does anything better than me. Projection, none of that stuff, you know. Um, like I. uh like on that stage, he benefited. He did very well. I don't want to take anything from his performance. He did very well against Show Off. Um, um, but he didn't have somebody like Ill Will in the next round barking on him. You know what I mean? And freestyling back, and him having to say, "Oh, I got to turn up." You know what I mean? Like he did. Like he he cruised through a great performance. You know what I mean? Mm. And I think I'm more. You know, um, I think that first time he gets punched in the mouth lyrically you know on stage that first time that first rebuttal hits and then he hears you say do you believe and he's turned around to get his water bottle and stuff you know and his brother's back there like you know like it's gonna be you know it, 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 that's when you're gonna know like hey, this is a different monster man <laughs> let me say this battle rappers um we notice when you're over drinking your water on stage <laughs> when you when you screw up your cap you take a sip you screw the cap back on yeah. and within four seconds you're taking another <laughs> battle rappers we noticed that 
That's a fact. Um, the Rosenberg Raw that performed versus show up at Max Out Part One. Then, um, wherever you are in your material or how you see yourself showing up for July 10th, how close does that Rosenberg Raw come to beating you? That Rosenberg Raw lo- loses to me, but he he does he he. he he doesn't get 30, you know what I mean? Like he doesn't, right. he doesn't get like bodied or anything like that. You know what I mean? Um, but he loses clearly. So he's going to have to be a better version of that to make it a debatable battle. So if that, that Rosenberg Raw still loses clearly to you, what does Rosenberg Raw, what, what can he do to beat you? He's going to have to do some things in front of a thousand people that he's never done before in battle rap. He's going to have to, you know, come outside the box and, and, and put together some, I mean, he's going to have to have three, four, five. It wasn't formed. It was manufactured every ramp, you know, he's going to have to, I don't know if he can freestyle. He's going to have to some kind of showmanship and stuff like that. Like you can't just get in there, you know, and, you know, those little rock em sock em punches like this and and survive all three rounds. He's going to have to like, you know, stretch, get loose and, you know, and, and do some, do some stuff that he's not, you know, um done before okay so how does that change your prep for rosenberg raw then do you well, the, do you, do you play thing. down to your perception of that or are we no, that's the thing is, better I'm, able not to rosenberg raw. I'm not battling rosenberg raw like i'm battling the ill will performance like that's just that's just what it is you know um especially with it being so close you know to like just a couple months ago you know um i arguably had a performance of the night like you said like i shut the building down with freestyles and stuff like that the expectation on me now is that I'm going to have some more Deshaun Watsons and part of the waves and, you know, more clays and stuff like that. Like that's what those same people that were there last time is like, yo, telling their friends, yo, you got to wait till the wait till he goes, he's going to rebuttal that. You know what I mean? Like the expectation on me in that performance is that I have to be that good, you know? Like, uh, yeah. so I, I, that's, that's why, you know, I'm saying like, I, it's not about Rosenberg raw. Like, of course, my material is always going to be direct, but like, it's about, people not saying, ah, oh, it was a fluke. You know what I mean? Like he, he, yeah, he rocked that big stage. He has some crazy rebuttals, but you know, now he, he's looking real normal up there. You know what I mean? Dangerous stuff, man. Um, congratulations on the performances you had thus far this year. Thank uh, you. you continue to put on, you continue to prove, you continue to show what level of MC and battle rapper you are. We rooting for you, man. We we rooting for you. you know what I'm saying we rooting for you in the long haul of just battle rap. Um, you bring a lot to the culture. But um, on July 10th, man, go ahead, send your last shot, shot, and your last words to Rosenberg Raw because it's not gonna be about me or anybody else. It's gonna be about y'all too once we take that stage. Hey, yo, Rosenberg, max out too. I'm going to make sure you are not booked for max out three. Period. <laughs> that's what i'm saying bro like bring every punchline every family member everything you got the whole city of norristown bro but it, it, it's not gonna help you like you 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 can't beat me bro so enjoy uh enjoy the belief in you for your last your last performance there purchase your ticket to be in the building or catch it live on pay-per-view stream